In this episode I'm trying to use one of our biggest free resources here which is grass clippings and what am I going to do with it? I'm going to grow my potatoes in it. Hello, welcome back to the channel. You've joined me on our main garden where you can see Duncan in the background is mowing the lawn with his ride on mower. Yes, I do use a manual mower for the other lawns, but he uses a ride on. Boys and their toys. Now I make my own compost here, but I don't have the facilities at the moment to make compost on such a large scale that meant that I could use all of these grass clippings in the compost. So basically it ends up going in a muck pile and eventually on the fields. So I've decided that this year I'm going to try something a little bit different. I read about Ruth Stout using hay to put on top of her potatoes. Now I don't have access to hay, I only have haylage or silage here. But I do have grass clippings and other people have used grass instead because they didn't have access to hay. So I'm going to use grass clippings this year to grow some potatoes in. I'm also growing potatoes in buckets as well but what I liked about this method when I've seen other people use it is that you don't really need to dig them out even though you're growing them kind of in the ground or on the ground you don't need to dig them out it's easier to harvest them I didn't fancy putting a fork through potatoes which is why I've been using the bucket method so I'm going to give this a go I'm using this bed behind me I'm going to make a wooden border for the bed so that I can keep building the grass up as the potato leaves grow I know that first earlies and second earlies don't need earthing up but because I'm only going to be covering these with grass clippings which I'm going to build up as the season goes on I am kind of going to be earthing them up. So I'm just going to lie the potatoes on top of this soil behind me, add the grass clippings on each time the lawn is mown and hopefully in three or four months time we should get a decent harvest out of them. I'm not sure if it's going to work but we'll find out. This is quite a wide bed, I'm not going to put potatoes in all of it. I'm going to have a strip at the back that I'm going to put some drying beans on some canes. And then at the front here I'm going to have some sweet peas and some other flowers around it so that coming out of this door here I'm not greeted by potatoes, I'm greeted by flowers and scent. So the potatoes are going to go in this middle section need to clear this off, do a little bit of raking and then I'm going to make a wooden border to contain the grass because obviously at the moment the grass will just sort of spill out and if I have to build that up as the season goes along then that's what I'll do. This had strulch on it last year so I'm just going to rake that away so that there is soil contact at the top to lie the potatoes on. This is the frame we're building for the potato bed and it isn't a frame to grow into the ground, it's just to contain the grass clippings. Before I lay the potatoes in I'm going to put some blood fish and bone in but it is a bit of a windy day so this might not go very well. Just get the rake and rake that in a little bit. These are the two varieties that I'm going to be planting today and I'm really really impressed with the chits on these ones. These are Ulster Spectres and I've already planted some of those in the greenhouse. I did those on St Patrick's Day. So it's time now to get the rest of these in the ground. So these are a first early and then the other ones I'm going to plant today are the Charlottes which are a second early. Now if this method works and I'm really excited to try it I might extend it across the whole bed next year and potentially have the main crop potatoes in there as well. 
so I'll have to see how we get on. I don't know how many I'm going to put in. I need to probably have a little look about that. I think it said 30 centimetres apart for single potatoes. So let's get and do it, shall we? I'm going to start with the Ulster Spectres. I'm thinking just lie them for now. Hello Samson, sorry sweetheart. Now I am going to go ahead and just kind of stand them up a bit. Just scratch the surface a little bit. I'm not digging as such, just trying to help them to stay facing the right way as I cover them with grass. Now all I need to do is get the grass clippings and place them on top of the potatoes. And every time we cut the lawn, we should be able to top them up. And if I don't have enough grass, we have haylage here we do have some straw. When I watched Kerry from Dog on the Plot's 12 Days of Easter recently, she did her potatoes in wood chip. And I think Nick does that from that British homestead as well. Now I do have wood chip. I was really keen to try this with grass. I guess what I should do next year is split this into a couple of beds and do some in grass and some in wood chip and compare them that way. If it gets slimy, then I probably would add a layer of wood chips or straw on top because grass can sometimes get slimy. But because it's spread out, I'm hoping that it'll dry out quite quickly. Of course, that is weather dependent. So that's it. They're in the ground and let's see how we get on. They're obviously going to be quite warm under here because the grass will have a little bit of heat as it starts to rot down. And I know people refer to this as no dig, lazy, easy, whatever methods, but there is still work involved in getting the grass into here. I assume the lazy term really refers to the fact that they'd be easier to harvest. We mow the lawn hopefully every week or so. I probably won't need to top it up every week. My thought process also is that hopefully at the end of the season, I'd be able to spread some of this out across the bed, mixed in with other stuff, to mulch the bed over to maybe do the same thing again next year. Who knows? The whole bed here was my father-in-law's original veg bed and he used to grow potatoes in here years ago. So I think that's quite nice to be able to put potatoes back in there now because we did lose him in 2021. So I think he'd be proud of me. going to get the rest of the first earlies and second earlies planted in these pots now. I'm just going to amend this soil with some fish blood and bone. Put a few spades of soil in the bottom of each. And then I'm going to put three seed potatoes in and then top up with some fresh compost. These are the Charlotte, so I'm just going to place three of them in. I've just stuck these tree labels on them with the date on them. Last year, when I did the main crops and I earthed them up, I just had a normal plant label stuck inside the bucket. Well, of course, 
because I'm an idiot I covered up the plant labels so I had no idea which was which later on in the season but at least this way I'll always know. Now I have Sarpomira and King Edward as my proper main crops and I'm going to do those in the next couple of weeks but for now I'm going to count this experiment as a go and I'll carry on filling these and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.